I think it was a challenge for him. He just, he likes mental challenges. And a lot of things come very easily to him, athletically and intellectually. And I think this is something that, I mean, he had to work for. He was really good at it from the beginning, but he wasn't perfect. And so that whole thing kicked in. And um, then he, he had that goal. I mean, he was, when he was eight, he was talking, I want to go to the Olympics. So at that point, it was in his mind. I, to me, I'm like, yeah, we'll see how serious you are. But then when he was 15 and had his permit and took his car money and bought a boat with it, <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> we're going to do this. <laughs> this is his first bow, and he cracked it just from drawing it back so much. So he duct taped it, and then he wrapped it with leather. <laughs> but this is the one my dad made for him. So you um, it has a different I, string. I did yeah. find it. Yeah, well, he had everything did all you, up okay. in his room. It, all this. He made this one. And this is the one my dad made, and then Zach got real into making bows. So there's like six or seven up there that he made himself carving and out of PVC pipe and out of bamboo rods and everything he could find, he would make bows. The first day we worked with Stephen Springfield, he had him fill out a goal sheet, which is not Zach's thing, putting it on paper. It's always got to be up here. So we had to do two things that Zach didn't like. He had him fill out a goal sheet and he took his bow away. He's like, I just bought that. <laughs> It was nuts, and he gave him this big rubber band. It's called a stretch band, but it looks, it's just tubing. It's red tubing. And instead of saying, screw this, <laughs> Zach did. I mean, for hours he practiced, and Steve said, you go in front of a mirror. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what you do. He took that thing to school with him, and he's walking in the halls in between classes practicing with that, and they'd get together on Skype, and Steve would critique him. His long-range goal become an Olympic or uh, become a resident athlete within 10 years and let's see that was in 2010 he became a resident athlete in 2013 so seven years ahead of schedule <laughs> um, make the Olympic team within 10 years so he was hoping to make the 2020 team and he made that a little ahead of schedule too so that's pretty cool he demands himself to be I don't want to say the best at everything because he understands that there are times other people are going to do better at him than him at something. But if he feels like he didn't do his best, it drives him nuts, you know. And there are times I've seen him be beat in archery competitions where he shot really well and somebody just shot a little better. And he handled those pretty well. But there are times that he's won or times that he's lost that he really thought, you know, I didn't shoot very well. And either of those situations, he's not very happy with himself.